Today is June 20th, 2014. Time is 7.05 p.m. Here is the latest thing I've been working on. The name I have for it so far is a four plate capacitor. It is literally a capacitor with four plates. Uh, masking tape, aluminum foil, masking tape, aluminum foil, masking tape, aluminum foil, masking tape so on and so forth. You got four plates separated by the dielectric, which is masking tape. It has worked with other materials such as plastic and of course Sprindles wrap which is another form of plastic. Uh, right now I'm just going to show you guys the unique characteristics of it. But first I have to demonstrate this. Right now the multimeter is set to uh, reading resistance. Right now it's at 200 mega ohms and we're going to see what kind of resistance. So I'm just going to short out the two leads just to show you that it does work as a multimeter for reading resistance. Right now we're reading a dead short. All right. Once again, dead short, nothing spectacular. Let the meter zero itself out. And that's uh, open. So I'm going to take the leads that I have from this four plate capacitor there's copper wiring going to each plate individually. And just to prove that these leads are not connected, and I'm not shorting it out, just to show that there's no trickery here, I'm just going to connect each one just to show you that it remains an open circuit through the whole time. I guess I'll hook this one up to that one. There is one green wire, still open, and three red wires just because that's all I have for right now. You can see nothing spectacular. This is just to show you that, or prove that, these plates are not connected and it seems a little redundant but it's a part of the experiment. All right, now that's done. I'm just going to connect two of the wires back up to the multimeter. The multimeter is a Innova 3300. And I'm going to take a 9 volt battery with about 8.8 .8 volts in it. I'm going to hook up the other two. So right now, there is two leads connected to the two leads of the or two leads of the capacitor is going to the two leads of the multimeter. We're going to set it to the two volt scale, and I'm going to take the other two leads of the four plate capacitor and just hook them up, and we'll see what happens. Jumped up to about 400 millivolts and it's going down around 150 or so millivolts. I'm just going to leave that for a little bit of a second there just to show what is going on. And it'll level itself out and hover around there for a few seconds. Actually, it'll pretty much stay around there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this battery and I'm going to go pretty much short out the um, I'm going to short out the uh, these two uh, these leads going to the capacitor. So basically I'm going to short out these two plates and watch what happens. It was a negative. It went negative. Connect back up around almost hit 500 millivolts. Um, but when I short out the two leads. It's interesting to note that it goes negative. It's quite interesting. Go back to battery. Let's short the plates out. Negative. Battery. It's charging the capacitor up. But short these two leads out. Negative. Why this is interesting is because, as I showed you guys, these plates are not connected in no form of way of like a short. So, applying current or charging the first two 
plates or this capacitor affects the other two plates. So there's a, there's a relation between them two. And shorting them out causes it to flip and a flip uh, voltage, so it goes negative. It's quite interesting. Then watch that. Uh, it's unique because the, you got these four plates. It's basically two capacitors within this right here. And you charge the two sets and they affect the other set. Uh, let's do it one more time. It, uh, it sounds stupid and redundant, but it's interesting to note that that's negative, but when I short it out, it goes positive. Charge back up, negative 200, 170 millivolts. Then short it out, positive. It's quite interesting. And that works both ways. And discharge. It goes negative. One of the things I really liked about this is how it would sit around or so at that voltage. So it's interesting because this is charging one set of plates, but yet I'm picking it up on the other two plates at one point, or I mean, I'm sorry, 0.147 volts or 147 millivolts. And also have a capacity meter, meter over here just to show you guys what capacity each plate has I guess I better put it just right there make it easier to see it doesn't have much capacity to it Let me get rid of this meter So the first set, the first set that was connected to the multimeter is 1.40 nanofarads. The two leads that were connected to the battery is 3.14 or 3.13 nanofarads. And let's cross hatch them just to show you guys. This one's 1.77 nanofarads. And this one's 2.7374 nanofarads. Not much capacity because it is a homemade capacitor, but it does demonstrate a very interesting concept. And one of the concepts is that. It's a four plate capacitor. Connect the battery up to these two plates and it affects the other two plates and it shows up a voltage on the multimeter. You've short out these two or these the plates and the multimeter reacts by going negative. It swaps polarity. Quite interesting on the battery side. And we showed you at the beginning of the video how none of the plates are connected. There's no resistance between them. It means it's an open circuit. Thus, it's a capacitor. And we can measure capacitance on this multimeter we have here in the nanofarad range because it is a homemade capacitor. Only because they don't make four plate capacitors in manufacturing. At least not yet. And it's interesting because when a capacitor fills up, it fills up to a point where it stops, where it stops taking energy out of the battery. And we were doing that, but it was also showing up energy on the other two plates. It makes you wonder if you can pull energy off the other two plates. Even though it's a fractional smaller, it's still energy. And it's just interesting to see how also, when you short out those two leads, it swaps polarity. That's, that's it for this demonstration. Uh, thank you.